Hair plays a huge role in Amy Curcio's life, but not in the way one would expect. While most worry about the occasional bad hair day, she faces a daily struggle to not pull it out. I remember the first time that I first became really obsessed with hair and the notion of hair. Amy Curcio suffers from a disorder called trichotillomania, a condition where people feel unable to resist the urge to pull out their hair from their heads and other parts of their bodies. Pulling to me relieves an exorbitant amount of tension and anxiety. Trichotillomania is known to affect between 1 and 3 percent of the U.S. population. But doctors believe the number could be as high as 10 percent because it is often covered up or kept secret. One of the worst aspects of the disorder is the feeling of isolation. Mark Foner knows too well how destructive quiet suffering can be. For seven years, he's watched a relative cope with the disorder. There comes a point where you try just about everything uh, in trying to figure out how do we resolve this issue. Is, you know, can we get a cure? Is there a way to control it? Experts believe talking about the disorder may be one of the best ways of overcoming it. Trichotillomania doesn't define who they are. It's just a medical condition that they have and that they're a lot more than this disorder that they're spending a lot of time covering up and hiding. So Foner created a support group for people suffering from trichotillomania. Each month about 20 people gather to discuss the disorder and find ways to battle it. They're looking for ways of being able to talk to people, to be able to say, I've got this issue, what do I got to do to get rid of it? Danielle Comforti attended her first meeting after suffering for the past 22 years. She is hoping the group will help her in her journey to stop pulling her hair. So I think it's fantastic that he's out there doing it. You have to be. There's got to be somebody. There's got to be a voice. I'm trying to uh, do something that's very passionate and close to my heart and trying to be able to help people. Because of the resource Foner has created, people no longer have to suffer in silence. Robert Bazell, NBC News, New York.